Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Susie Selleck, and today we are in Gent, Kentucky, at the Second Baptist Church. I'm joined by Pastor Irvin. Pastor Irvin? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very excited to be here and very excited to learn about this church. So without further ado, can you can you just, just start talking and, and we'll we'll get into the history. Thank you for being here. It's very important for our church that you are here because uh, we have an older church member. So the young people are, as we say, dying off. And when the older people die, excuse me, when the older people die off, there will be no history. And yeah. this gives us a, a documentation that they know about the church which exists. Second Gent comes out of First Gent Baptist Church. Usually Second Gent in most uh, churches are from historical African Americans through slavery. This church was built in a, in a time of slavery. Uh, we have just been freed. Uh, uh, emancipation, uh, 1865, had already been established. But Gent was having church in a stable when they were established. So this was once a stable. This was once a stable. Kind of like the story of Jesus, right? Yes. It went from being born in a stable Hallelujah. to a mighty king. Hallelujah. Somebody. If you will, the mighty king. <laughs> the mighty okay, king. Yeah. Right. So, so it, it's a good, uh, the statement was made that no nigga will purchase land in Gent at that time. Uh, Mr. Dillon, uh, we owe a lot to in his history, sold this land to two people for $10 at that time. Uh, they then established a church, began to worship and have church here together. Uh, the community itself was full, uh, houses was full. We see now, we see some vacant properties. That wasn't there, what I was told, when they were younger. Right. Because everybody loved to come to church. Gent was the only uh, church for the African Americans could come to. Uh, and what I was told when they got his church was already going. They used to open the windows up. Uh, what you see now is not what the church looked then. No. This is the modern day. But then in their time, it was it was all good. To open the windows up yeah. was great. This year in October will be 150 years that this church has been established. Fantastic. One place, one church, one location. We can say that we own uh, through Reverend Sharp's uh, leadership. That was the pastor. Uh, before my arrival who uh, left in 2008 and he was here for how long 46 years that is a long him and his stint. wife they pastor they had a son uh they passed this church he came from louisville he was a mailman uh in louisville kentucky and he drove before the highway 71 was built he was driving down 42 all the way from louisville here and he did that for 46 years until his wife uh health got bad and he had to step down and then uh we then acknowledged that when right. he came. Uh, we gave him the pastor of marriage status, thanking him for all the hard work. We gave him a supplement uh, until his death. Two years later after that, he ended up passing, going to heaven. And uh, my job as Pastor Karen is to not let them ever forget those that came before us. So what are some plans for, for the future? What are... Well, uh, oh, I, I used to have... They moved it. We have... We got... What we just did is this. This was one of the future plans of renovate this. The next step is to get a parking lot uh, with two lots of land, which is 100 by 60, and get the parking lot that we can get that. Nice. Uh, and then two years later, we want to put a fellowship hall that's able to uh, hold 250 people in it. And we want to take all the appliances out, put into the fellowship hall okay, yeah. with new tables. And then we have been with one boy's bathroom and one girl's bathroom for 150 years. Great, right. well, okay. Uh, 100 maybe, years. Maybe, maybe an update. Before the potty, <laughs> before after the potty. <laughs> so what we're trying to do is get two more bathrooms for women in the new part and two more for the men. So they'll come out of church and go right into the fellowship hall. So yeah. we have a food pantry back where we bring food and load it up for people that needs. That being said, just w when you're talking about the reconstruction, you know, just kind of some of the things that they were doing in here, I have to ask, there's a mirror and, and what, I, at first I was very, I'm like, are they, is it the choir loft that is trying to, what, what is it, that? It's none of that. It's it, they're behind, behind those chairs behind me. Yeah. If you pull up, there is a baptism pool. Baptism. So when you go down a baptism pool, those that are sitting out here can see the whole scene. When I'm saying, and uh, whoever you are, uh, on the confession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And as I dip them down, the congregation that's here can see the whole thing going to a tree. So the person will come out, and then they'll go to the back. It's genius. It's genius. <laughs> that's gent. Yeah. That's where I got here. <laughs> very, very good. Yeah, so, I like that. So, so which is real good. We also have a uh, YouTube ministry 
where we have 298 videos now on YouTube. Oh, nice. So we... Who, how long have you had that? Who we've had that for two and a half years. And my assistant, who is James Travis, uh, started that ministry. He came to me. I said, sure. I said, we need that. So we tape uh, our services and we put them on the YouTube and our website, uh, which is secondgentbaptistchurch.org. Yeah. Uh, that is things that we want to let people know that wherever you may be, yeah. you might be in Florida. Yeah. And we have members in Florida say, Pastor, I saw your sermon and it's great. I saw the church. And I remember coming in one Sunday and we had an offering of $20,000 with less than 50 people. Whoa. Like. And, and, and then the next week it was $6,000 and the next week, 5,000. This is morning worship. And I was like, wow, I've seen big churches don't even produce that. But it's the idea that people believe in God. Right. They and believe in God's leadership. They follow the leadership. And anything that this pastor has asked of the congregation and officers and treasurers, trustees, they have given me. That's why I tell people all the time, I have the best, the biggest church, the biggest, smallest church in the world in Gent. Pastor Irving, I, when I walked into the church, one of the things that I, that I really liked was the windows. I, it's just, it, because it makes it really bright in here, you know, kind of like, kind of like the way I think a church should be. Uh, did you have anything to do with that? No, I did not. Okay. That, that I was, was gonna, already established in the church when they came and called me. Oh, don't, don't give me credit. <laughs> but they're still here, so they're I guess I'll here. give you credit for they're not, years not taking them down. These church, these windows are, are older than uh, some of my members. These <laughs> windows have been there. Yep. And all our job is to take care of what's already here. And then also the cemetery, that's linked to the church that too. That is, that is our, that is our property too. Very nice. That's, uh, we're, I, I would like to go and check that out Please if, if that's okay Please with you do. after Please this. Please do. So. People call all day, Pastor, can I get buried in there? Are you a member? Well, my family, well, talk to my chairman, do this, that's, that's. So are you going to continue to, to reign um, here as pastor? And yes, this is, that's, that's. Until God that's says, until okay. God says move right now, he says stay. All right, <laughs> Pastor Irvin, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed talking with you today. You've got a ton of energy. I can see why people come to see you on Sunday mornings. Oh, yeah. I, it's, it's surprising. I would I'd probably pay to hear you talk. You've just got this great energy. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. And we are going to close the show out now. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Susie. Today we've been in Gent, Kentucky at Second Baptist Church here with Pastor Urban. Pastor, thank you again. It's a blessing. And remember, travel, travel slowly, slowly and, and stop, stop often. often. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.